Now, this is one of my favorite parts where I get to take something I drew up on the whiteboard, actually started in my brain, then I bring it over here, I cut it up, and it starts turning it into reality. Hey you, in this video, I wanna show you something very special that I did not find in other videos. One, I wanna show you the life of a remote developer slash a freelancer. I also am gonna take you behind the scenes and show you the idea from its birth to its conception to it actually being formed in reality in code. And then I also wanna show you how I send invoices and some of my clients, what my hourly rate I'm charging them and what one week's invoice might actually look like. On top of all these really juicy and amazing things, I'm also gonna show you how I structure my day and what my day looks like. Do I meet friends? How do I schedule time to actually work? When do I work? When do I wake up? These are all things you'll learn and this video will truly show you what your life as a developer can look like. Before we begin, the last thing I want to tell you right now is at the end of this video, I have a very special gift for you, so you definitely don't want to miss this video. With that said, let's jump right into it. Start my day off great, just waking up a little happy as you can see there. Go get ready, brush my teeth, and then I like to jump straight into it. So in the morning, one of the first things I like to do is check my emails, see if my clients have messaged me, when they would like to set up a new meeting, and really plan out how I'm going to work on my day. So this is the time I take to really plan out my day. And once my day is planned, I go at it starting with a little bit of boxing. So I like to get my body moving and just kind of get into it. Now, the most important thing for you to understand is that when you are putting in the input, make sure that you actually add the ratings because without the ratings, you really have nothing. You can focus on the benefits, but ultimately what you need, you really need a lot of the times when I'm solving a problem, I'm usually whiteboarding it. This is where it gets solved for me. It's almost never at the computer. It's me walking around and thinking about what is it that needs to be done for this problem to be solved. And visually being able to see it really, really helps me. So this is a simplified version of it, but being able to look at, okay, I'm working with model view templates and for other languages, that's usually model view controller, but I'm thinking, okay, how can we use this to build the app that we're actually building? This is why I have so many whiteboards. And for a lot of the people who get stuck just sitting there trying to code their way through, oftentimes they're like, why can't I solve this problem? You're too close to it. So you need that time to walk away, think, need some space. That's why this is a programmer's best friend. And a lot of my day is actually doing this. And I love it. The whole process of solving a problem, breaking it down into its component parts, and really figuring out the solution. It's one of the most beautiful and one of the most satisfying things I get to do in my day. All right, now this is one of my favorite parts where I get to take something I drew up on the whiteboard, actually started in my brain, then I bring it over here, I code it up, and it starts turning it into reality. So let me give you an example, all right? So we like this movie, Skyfall, it's an awesome movie, right? James Bond, who doesn't like him? Let's go to this app, we're gonna hit create, I'm gonna pop in, let's say Skyfall, we put in the URL of that image, let's give it a rating of eight, and because we love Roger Deakins, spelled his name correctly, uh, was the DP and that's why we like this movie so much. Let's hit create new movie and boom, look at that. And now when I hover over it, ooh, ooh, ooh. How beautiful is that, right? Something that was created here and now turned into reality. This is what I love about coding. So this is one of my invoices I sent out a few years ago, but essentially, and I'll give you guys a tip too, for those of you guys who want to become a developer 
or who already are a developer. So when you are sending invoices, try to make them English friendly. So when the people are reading it, they actually know what you're doing. Don't just add stuff that makes sense to you, but doesn't make sense to the other person. So for example, I'll be like, spent the entire day switching frameworks and this will save the company hundreds of hours of development time. Okay, so they're like, oh, this person moved from Flask to Django. What the hell does that mean? Well, all you need to know if you're a CEO is that saves you hundreds of hours. And you know, me, this is me sending invoices, like just putting in stuff. This was the front end task we did. We added gorgeous clickable events or I also break it down into backend stuff we did where we're adding something to the database, which is harder for your client to understand. But please put in the effort to make it as easy as possible for them to understand what you've done and what the result of that thing is in English and use your invoices like that. And uh, this is me just boom, 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 telling them everything that took place for that week. So this is some of what I do in my day. It's part of my day is also sending invoices and writing down beautiful descriptions. Once my work day is over, I like to take a little bit of a break. I'll look up at the sky, chill, look at the pool, just relax. And then I go meet a friend. Walking the streets of Hollywood Boulevard, pretty cool. Once it was a dream, now I get to live here. Really fascinating, and that's all thanks to being able to become a freelancer. Hold on. Alexa, play Bangarang. Bangarang, explicit by Skrillex. You know the song, obviously, right? or no? I don't know the song at all. Uh, well, all you need to know is there's a beat and it drops. I end my day by reading a book. I love going to the bed with something in my brain. Relentless, for example, is an incredible book by Tim Grover. So I'll read something that sets my mindset straight for the next day. Another important tip I wanna share with you is put your phone in airplane mode and leave it outside of your bedroom before going in. And that's what I do every night. After a day of feeding my brain with code and books, feeding my relationships with spending time with my friend and girlfriend, feeding my body with the gym, I usually feel very satisfied and I smile when I sleep apparently. All right, so in this video, you saw what a life of a developer can look like, especially if you wanna work remotely, not live that nine to five, have your own clients, and what it looks like, how much money you can make, what birthing an idea on a whiteboard to its final form can look and feel like, as well as how I schedule my day and how I hang out with a friend, do all the fun stuff, and still get the work done and remain extremely productive. Now, if this is something you enjoyed and you want your life to essentially look like this or you want to jump into this, I have put together an incredible, mind-blowing, three-part 
masterclass that will show you step by step exactly what you need to do, what the opportunity in your life as a Python developer can look like, what your earning potential can look like, and what are the exact steps you need to take to make this happen in your life. Please keep in mind, this training I've put together for you is absolutely free of charge, completely free. All I'm gonna need from you is your name and your email address. And once you pop that in, I'm gonna send this training over to you right away. With that said, the link is gonna be in the video below in the description, so go ahead and click that link. I'll also try to put it here on the screen in the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I love your face and I'll see you in the next video.